between these blessed states of America and those foul warmongers in Russia. Russia, Russia, we know, we know. No, Ryan, no. Our children and Why are you doing this, Jamie? You're giving your father an ulcer. Yeah, come on, Jamie. Let's get out of here. This is very unsafe. I do this to support what I believe in. You know what this is doing. And I believe I have a better chance of meeting a boy here than at Camp David. I want a boyfriend. No, more no. No, the damn no. No, I am no. proud and honored to bring up our next speaker. A true supporter of our cause who is not afraid to express her feelings, even if those feelings stir up a little commotion in her house. Even if that house happens to be the White House. Talking about the first this is daughter. the big one, Bubbles. Don't flub it. I'll do my best. But the pressure. Get away with it. The president's daughter. Jamie! They like me. I can tell. They really like me. Oh, God, this is so cool. My God, they kidnapped the president's daughter. Benjamin Baxter, I think he may be the best courier the network's ever had. Ever? Yeah, man. Beverly? Wife, two kids, they don't know a thing. He's got to be taken alive, but it must appear that he's dead. Oh, uh, Baxter, Benjamin Baxter, <laughs> Jr. Uh, my friends call me Beans. Beans, your father is a spy. Dad! He's alive, but UGLI's kidnapped him. I was wondering if I could stay on. You know, help out with the network. Okay, kid, you're on, but only until we find your father. Thank you, number two. You know, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Finkelbaum is a dweeb. The only man for the job of class president is you. It's a shoe in uh, It's not that Finkelbaum's a dweeb, would shop. It's the issues at hand. Myron Finkelbaum has no idea the problems they're debilitating our school. It's all in listening to the voice of the student population. Myron Finkelbaum does not listen. I listen. I want to know what the students have to say. Beans. Without that communication, that input, that knowledge. Beans. Without the knowledge that the true voice of the student body is actually being heard... Beans! What? I've been trying to tell you. You're off the paper there, pal. Oh, sorry. Okay, you were saying? Yeah, well, my point is that uh, I'll work for all the students. And we all know why Finkelbaum is running. Myron is the diem of South Vietnam. 
the Shah of Iran, the Castro of Cuba, the Marcos of the Philippines, a puppet of the cross team to get new equipment. We must topple him. Nothing short of a landslide. A massacre. You know what? We need a game plan. Got it. You do? Of course. It's all in the media hype. Advertising. We've got to sell you, Beans. Okay. We need a marketing consultant. And who might that be? Me. Uh, Cake. Hi, Cake. Why not? I'm very good with the numbers. Besides, I've already worked out your marketing campaign. That's very clever, Cake. And for every guy who votes for you, I let them look at the button twice. Well, it's a shoe in isn't it, Woodshop? A landslide. Then I get the job? Well, wait a minute, Cake. I mean, this is politics. You know, like one hand washes the other and stuff like that. So what do you want from me once I'm elected? All I want for you is to stay put through one whole date with me and not mysteriously disappear like you always do. That shouldn't be too hard of a campaign promise to keep. Good, then we have a deal. Now, if you gentlemen will excuse me, I have some campaigning to do. Uh, bye, Cake. Which stop if I did not have Darla? <laughs> Golly, Cake makes me see red. Fine. Now, you're all the primary colors. What do you mean? You're seeing red, you're too yellow to date her, <laughs> and now you're standing in blue. <laughs> Uh, take over wood shop. UGLI. They're up to their old tricks again. UGLI? Wait, do we know where they are? Can we get my dad? Hopefully, yes, but this is one time when you'll have to put your father second. Oh, wait a minute. Why? They've kidnapped the president's daughter. She's being held for ransom, and we want you to get her. Of course, Brian. Uh, what do you need? Just tell me. We need you to drive a car at 85 miles per hour off a 500-foot overpass into a building. Uh, number two will give you the complete details. Here's the address. On my way. What do you think? Well, uh, it certainly shows my party's ability to plan ahead. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go drive a car off an overpass. Okay, but be back by 4 o'clock. Remember, you've got to make your campaign speech. Don't forget, the future of democracy rests in your hands. You have no idea. What's wrong with me now? Please, you take care of it. I can't go back in there. Get away from the door. Mr. Clown! Mr. Clown, come in here, please, Mr. Clown! Please! What is it now? Dying. Closer. 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 I bet you're kind of cute under those polka dots, huh? Miss O'Neill, I don't think that you understand the seriousness of your situation. We are a group of very, very unhappy clowns. You are our prisoner. And if your father does not launch a nuclear strike against his own nuclear submarines in New London, Connecticut, 
in three hours. We're gonna shoot you and throw your bullet-ridden body in the parking lot. And then we're gonna blow ourselves up. I know what you want. You want fear, right? Well, how's this? How's this? Inform the president that I am moving up the deadline one hour. And if he does not meet our demands, I'm going to pull the trigger personally. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. We've used heat sensors to spot our exact location. We place her right here under the overpass. Now, this is where you'll penetrate the building, catching those terrorist clowns completely by surprise. Yeah, a dead 16-year-old falls from the sky. That'll be a big surprise. I mean, why don't you just attack the place with SWAT teams and choppers and tear gas and then angry bull elephants? Because you see those clowns up there on the roof? Those are clowns gone bad. There's nothing more dangerous. They're watching everything, even the throughway. They've said if they see anything even remotely suspicious within a 10-mile radius, They'll exterminate the president's daughter. We can't even close the throughway off the traffic. But that will prove to be their undoing. Because, you see, that's how you will gain access through what's going to look like a completely innocent mistake. Mistake? Yeah. You accidentally drove your car off the overpass. You're a kid. They'll have to believe you. Once you've infiltrated their position, you'll grab the girl and move out using all the skills you've learned in anti-terrorist operative training. I never had any anti-terrorist operative training. Uh, Boy Scouts? Mm, Cub Scouts for three months? Perfect. You have nothing to fear. Yeah, but I mean, what am I supposed to do about terrorists? Teach them how to make a campfire? We've taken care of all of that, Beans. Now, this truck is made of a design similar to the Apollo and Gemini spacecraft. It can withstand a tremendous impact while at the same time keeping the pilot, that's you, totally free of harm just by keeping your seatbelt fastened. Wait a minute. The impact of driving this thing through a building won't hurt? You just keep your belt fastened, you'll be fine. All right. Well, then what? Once you've infiltrated that building... Hello? The 101st Airborne SWAT Team, the most highly trained counter-terrorist strike force on Earth. These guys will do the dirty work, Beans. You just secure the girl. Good luck, Baxter. Cavalry's right behind you. So you see, Beans, everything's under control. You're perfectly safe. And we've got the whole thing covered. Now, once you secure the girl, you will contact us using this walkie-talkie. But you'll maintain radio silence until you've penetrated the building. OK. Now, if I just pass my seatbelt, I'll be fine. You just drive off that overpass. You let the U.S. government take care of the rest of it. All right, number two. I'll see you in the funny. Good luck, Bean. Thanks. There goes one very brave boy. That brave boy just stole my truck! All set to go, sir. The most electric. Hello, I'm Myron Finkelbaum, and I'm running for student council. Oh, student council president. And I'd like to say that if elected president, I'd like to give complete amnesty to the. Ow! To those who put jello in my gym shorts in the potato sack race of 1981. Also, if elected, I'd like to discuss the issue of important school dances and, ow, other fundraising events. Ow! 
As I was saying about the school of crafty, would you listen to this? This is a political nightmare. We've got to crush Myron. This is typical Bean Baxter. What could it be? He'll show up. He won't miss his campaign speech. Bean's Baxter isn't known for doing anything that stupid. I can't believe I'm dropping a car off an overpass into a building at 80 miles per hour. from those negotiators in one hour. My mom made me go on the love connection. She said, make sure you're a chooser. You don't want to take any chances. So there was these three guys. There was Ricky the plumber, never been married. Frankie the sea farmer, never been married. And Dave the doctor divorced seven times. Ricky and Frank were so cute. I don't Dave think they want her back. I know. Maybe we should tell them. If they don't blow up New London, we will give her back. Wait a minute. I do the thinking around here. You. You. Clown. Come in here. I have to ask you something really important. Excuse me, please. Will you go shut her up? I'll try. I have to ask you a very important question. Oh, come on, lady. Give Bubbles a break. Just shut up. <laughs> and I feared I wouldn't be leaving school with any useful skills. I think I'll do for my country. Here goes. Baxter, we're here to rescue you. Who's we? Me and the U.S. Marines. Gee, no wonder why Daddy got so nervous about those cuts in the defense budget. Oh, God, lady, we gotta get out of here. Come on. Not that way. That's where the terrorists are. You have to rescue me, Bean Baxter. You're Lancelot, and I'm Guinevere. You're Tarzan. James, you are Bruce Springsteen, and I am that model flash actress. Lady, all right, great. Come on, please, give me a break. Listen, we'll hide in the trailer, okay? You brought your own hotel room? I like that. Lady, come on! Whoa! Good God, Beans! 
Somebody get an ambulance. Oh, Beans, what did they do to you? Girl, in the trailer. Is she all right? Don't you worry, Miss O'Neill. You're in good hands now. Sorry you lost the election tomorrow.